What's up guys? So, um, I actually glitched until I reached the end of the game world. I literally journeyed to the end of the world. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the first person who did this in the world. Um, that makes me feel very happy. I was going through other videos, seeing if anybody else did it and recorded it. And it seems like I'm the very first person to do it. Um, now this is going to be the condensed version of it. I will post the full long length version. It took me three hours to get this challenge complete. So I'm going to have a lengthy video on that. But this all started at me getting the platinum trophy for this game. And I got the platinum trophy at 12.18 a.m. Um, that's when all of this started. Uh, and I was jumping towards the boats. I was just dicking around, not really doing anything much. Um, what I didn't realize is that the game had a border. If you go too far out in the water, the game actually pushes you backwards. And I did not know this at all. I thought this is how the game was. Um, until this moment happened, um, a nearby ship was coming and I was jumping towards it. Just, again, I was just dicking around. I didn't know I did anything to actually obtain this glitch. It just happened. And then I jumped inside of the ship, as you're seeing now. Now that I realized I actually glitched the game somehow, again, completely unintentional, I thought, how far can I take this? So the building that you see in the background on your screen, um, I live here in New York City, and that building used to be a very uh, close hangout spot that me and a bunch of friends go through. I literally uh, saw that building every single day when I was going through high school. I went to Information Technology High School, which is in Long Island City, which is in the pier area again which is exactly why i decided to say fuck it let me see if i can go over there and that will be the end um of this glitch for me anyways that's what i wanted to do at first so i started swimming over there thinking that around the uh the boroughs in this game there'll again be another barrier and i won't be able to go all the way over there And as you can see, I was obviously completely wrong. Not only could you reach the Boro, but you can actually continuously swim through it. So I thought, hell, if that's the case, let me see if I can make it all the way to the city bank building. And I eventually did it. And not only did I get past the city bank building, but I said fuck it and I just kept going way past it. And that's when I decided, you know what, let's see how far this game actually expands. So I decided then and there, I would try to get to the end of the game world. And I really regretted that decision because I had no idea how much space was filled in this entire world. But I just kept going and going and going very boring but i thought it'd be worth it in the end you could really tell that the building started to have very low textures very low quality and it kind of seemed like ps1 type of graphics sooner or later we started to go past trees and uncover a ton of jpeg images now for you guys that don't know these images are used just to fill the background it's very common with open world games to have views like this where once you get close you start seeing that they're just simply pictures that the developers put there just so you know no matter how far you are from the play area you can still see some background it's a strategy that works very well however when you glitch you can really see these things up close from floating trees to floating jpeg images and even a floating city now at this point i was pretty scared because it seems like the game itself had run out of water so i thought the second i passed this line i'm gonna fall straight through the map 
But as you can see, that clearly was not the case. And I just kept going, even when there was no more water to swim in, we just kept swimming. Now, at this point, this was me playing well over two hours of doing this challenge of just swimming and just swimming. Um, and if you're thinking, why did you just lose hope? Um, I was actually making a lot of progress. During this entire run, little things would change. Um, little things would stay the same. There wouldn't be a pattern. So I knew I kept going forward. But I got a little bit bored and decided to switch to a stream. Now without further delay, this is pretty much what happened at the end of the run. If you'd like me to post the entire thing up, uh, everything I went through the full three hours, let me know. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much what happens at the end. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy. Plus if I have a rubber band, I won't be able to evade in the air and that made me go even slower. Apple Pie says, so you're really doing this. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I wonder if I hold X, R2 and X, I could jump further. Whoa, 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 We did it. We did it. We fucking did it. We broke the game. We did it. I found the fucking end. I found the end. I gotta save this shit. Oh no, we found the end. We found the fucking end of the game. <laughs> we found it. Oh, I knew I'd do it.